Hello everyone, so today in this video I am playing Life is Strange. Uh, this game is quite cool, like the soundtrack sounds really cool already. I actually did record this already though. Um, this is going to be live, but I recorded this yesterday. But I didn't have face cam or anything, and the audio, like my voice was quieter than the game. So you could barely hear me. So I'm redoing it today, and I'm doing sort of half the first chapter. And I've got all five chapters too, so I'll do the whole series. But yeah, today I'm just going to do half of the first chapter. And it's currently also about 8 in the morning, so it's quite early. It's still a little bit dark outside, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, the art style in this game is quite cool, though. Because um, it's a game where, like, yeah, look at it, that looks really cool, doesn't it? And it's like, it's, it was made by the Unreal Engine 2 um, as well, so, it, yeah, it looks really cool, especially when it's made for that. Because I, even I have the Unreal Engine on my um, computer, and this is what it it can make the games like this. That's pretty cool. Trapped in a storm? How did I get here? And where is here? Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. Um, yeah, this game is also a bit like Alan Wake. If you haven't played that game, that's a pretty cool game, so I think you should go and get that. But, um, yeah, it's like in the first level, you've got to get to a lighthouse to get away from, I think it was called The Darkness or The Shadows or something like that, but that's a really cool game. And, uh, yeah, this is just like a walkthrough. I'm not actually going to be like, oh, I don't know, I've played it before, but I have. This is just a walkthrough of the game. And, like, there's pictures that you have to take, so I'm just going to sort of show you around the game and, like, show you where all the hidden stuff is. Or some of it, actually, because I don't know what all of it is. Whoa. Whoa. It's just a nightmare. So surreal. They call film little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally. Alright, I'm just gonna I'm gonna look at this so first look thing. At this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? That's really cool, isn't class it? Laughing at me now. The lights in the middle of it don't look very nice, but the pictures in the foreground there look really nice. In the background, that's pretty cool. Sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the twenty first century. Seriously though. But I, I like it old school. All right, we can take a selfie here. A moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You're asking me or I did know. <laughs> uh, probably. I did know. I did Fair know, excuse. but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. Okay. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him 
in your textbook, or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. <sighs> uh, yeah, she, she, I think she likes Mr. Jefferson. Oh, doesn't waste his... I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to, or I didn't have any time? I didn't have any time, that's my excuse. Time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Okay, we can leave now. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I feel like you have to pass you Welcome to the real world. That's cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. Because Max wants everybody to see how he is. He plays it so sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. Yeah, this is also made by the people that I think made Mirror's Edge. I think Square Enix made that too, didn't it? Don't not entertainment. This music's so cool, it's like got a little ring to it. See my meltdown, except for me. <sighs> oh, I just glitched for a second. Look at that! The Illuminati's on the wall. <laughs> Someone drew the Illuminati and Mark on the wall. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. Hi guys. Uh, my camera ran out. Um, cause like that, that was re not really much of a video. I'm going to do a, another one of them. Uh, I'm gonna do the other part of it. Uh, probably tomorrow or Christmas Eve. Uh, but yeah, I'm definitely going to do one before Christmas, hopefully, uh, because that's really annoying. My camera ran out before the video finished, so I've got to do the other parts of it soon, but, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe because I'm desperate, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!